If you're wondering which goals would be the right ones to pick in the new year, let me show you a really easy process. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to, I, I'll pretend I'm planning for myself, right? So I'm going to pick two different types of goals and one would be a personal goals and one would be professional goals. Now, under my personal goals, I would like to understand what would be the things that I would like to work on. So the first thing would be my health. So pardon my chicken scratch handwriting. Um, another very important aspect in my personal goals would be my finances. Another aspect would be my family or relationships, if you will, and relationships. And another one would be um, community. So this would be the most important thing for me. Now, in my professional life, I would um, classify it under a few categories. One is skills. One would be knowledge. Obviously, um, skills and knowledge are two different things. I may have the skills, but I may not have the knowledge. Another one would be my career path, or I would call it growth, career growth. And another thing would be, same as my personal one, relationships. And this one would be, if I can spell relationships, and I would say networking. So now that I have these categories, what I will do is I am going to break these up. So let me just pick a different color and um, let me break up my health would be physical. And just for the sake of time, I'm gonna just abbreviate stuff. One would be mental and another one would be spiritual. So these, according to me, are the more important aspects of my health. Of course, there could be, you know, you could put financials under your health as well, like financial health or even your, um, you know, your social um, health or whatever. But I just want to categorize health under these three main categories. Then for my finances, um, I would pick um, investments. Investments, I would pick savings, and um, the third one would be debt, okay? Then under relationships, I would um, pick parenting. So parent, um, again, with my extended family. So extended family. And under community, I would pick um, friends. And I would... Um, pick the world at large, right? The the community that's outside of my immediate social circle. Now, under skills, I would classify them as hard and soft skills, right? Hard skills are like learning something specific. Say, for instance, um, Excel is a hard skill. Learning a soft skill would be more interpersonal relationships and things like that. So that's a soft skill. Knowledge, I will leave as is because knowledge um, cannot classify it in anything, you know, I cannot like break it down any further. Career growth. Now, I might um, focus on career growth. Is it going to be horizontal or do, you, do I want to be vertical? What I mean by this is when I'm growing vertically, it just means that I'm going, I'm getting a promotion, I'm going to the next level. But if I'm growing horizontally, I want to make up my mind whether I want to grow horizontally, which means that I stay at the same level of my career, but I choose a different um, stream, if you will. Right, I go into a different department, into a different line of business, etc. But my level um, remains the same. And in my relationships and networking, um, it would just be—it's a simple thing—is just grow my network, grow network, right? So these would be the goals that I would pick. And obviously, you would have maybe different goals or something similar, etc. So you know you can 
categorize them and then, you know, put them down like this. Now, the next step for me would be to give each of them a ranking. And what do I mean by that? So let's start with health. If I think of health, and I'm, I'm thinking of overall physical, mental, and spiritual health, where do I see my health? I see my health maybe on a scale of one to five, one being absolutely poor and five being excellent. I would put my health as maybe 2.5, okay? Um, finances, if I again rate it on a scale of one to five, I would probably put it at three. For my relationships, I would probably put it at three as well. And for my for my friends and the world, I would again probably, I'll put it at 3.5, okay? Now, let's do the same thing for uh, my professional goals or whatever I think might become my professional goals. So the first thing, skills. Um, I'm thinking my skills, I have pretty good skills. So I, I mean, in, in whatever I'm doing right now and what I may aspire to do will obviously be based on the current skill set I have and what I need. But I would say I'm sitting at a comfortable four um, as far as my skills are concerned. Um, let me just, yeah, so I'm sitting at four. As far as my knowledge is concerned, this is a little bit abstract. Um, so again, knowledge will depend on what I say, for instance, if I choose career growth, then I'll decide what knowledge I require and what skills I require, obviously. So for now, I'll just put my knowledge at 3.5. There is always room to grow. For my career growth, I don't know if I want to focus on it this year. Uh, maybe not. So I am sitting at probably around 3.5 but I will decide if I want to pick this as one of my goals. And then relationships and networking. Um, yeah, I do want to grow my network right now on a scale of one to five. I would say it's at a 2.5 because I'm an extreme introvert and I hate going out and networking. And um, this is something I may want to focus on in my professional life. So now that we have these ratings, let's go and pick the ones I feel rather, sorry, this one, I want to see which is my lowest rating. So naturally, if this is my lowest rating, I would like to work on this first because this is important to me, right? So this one here, and then we have a tie between relationships and finances. Now, there is one thing I would like to point out right at this step. There is no point in picking too many goals to work on in a year because what it's going to ha what's going to happen is you're going to set yourself up for failure. You cannot pursue every aspect of your life with the same enthusiasm and energy. So I would suggest pick maybe one or two or maximum two areas to work on. So now these two have tied for me finances are more important because I know relationships are not so bad. So I'm I'm going to highlight this one. So naturally this one and this one, these are the two things I will have to work on in the new year. Now, when I come on to the professional side, I see this one networking as a pretty low thing. Um, I may want to work on this, but relationships and networking, because that would mean I can actually even, you know, focus on career growth the next time um, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to highlight this one. Now, the next step, which is going to simplify and clarify even further. So now, since I've decided to work on this one and this one, let's first focus on this, okay? Now, I am going to break these down again and rate them. So for, again, scale of one to five, physical, I would say my physical health is actually, um, I have a lot of challenges, health challenges, so I would say it's even at a two. Yeah, I know, that's bad. Mental health, I struggle with um, mental health, so I would put it at maybe a two point, or you know what, I will put it at a three because I do do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of work on my on my mental health. Um, so I will put it at a three. And my spiritual health, actually, it's pretty good, so I will put it at four. There's, again, always room for improvement, right? So now, um, let's look at this, finances. If I break down investments, um, I will put it at 
Um, as far as my debt is concerned, I'm pretty much under control. So I would put it at 3.5 as well. And savings, I could definitely do with more savings. So I will put it at maybe 2.5. Now, let's do the same process again and highlight which one I will work on. Now, out of these three, clearly, this is most important. And obviously mental health is also very important because if I'm not mentally there, I will not be able to work on my physical health either. But this is the highlight. And for this one, clearly this one is the highlight. Okay, now let me go back to this one. And um, if I go back to this, growing my network, um, there isn't much I can do here, obviously, except now for here, I need to break down because I did not subcategorize like this whole thing was one goal, like networking relationships. So I gave, gave myself a 2.5 year. Can't break this down any further except when I'm actually coming up with the goals. Um, let's look at this. And so what I picked were um, the physical health, right? I picked physical health and what else did I pick? Um, physical um, savings, physical and savings in my personal life. Physical and savings in my personal life. And in my professional life, I picked networking and relationships. Okay, so now this is where the work will happen. This is what you will need to figure out just like I did similarly, um, what would be the most, um, what would be the most important aspects, like based on your rating, what are the most important aspects? And then once you have that, this is where you will come in and you're going to pick the top, um, you know, the top items that you want to work on and break these down into goals. So these are your categories. Now you'll break them down into goals. Um, and and for, under, for under each of these categories, I also recommend not having more than maybe three goals, okay? Three goals, but that too will depend on how big the goals are. So if my, for my physical health, I want to focus on maybe um, a daily workouts, right? So daily workouts, and then I would like to focus on eating healthier, eating healthy. And this one, I would like to sleep more, right? So now I can't work on all three of them together. And that is reality. Because if I try to do this and this and this, it's going to be overwhelming for me and I'm going to give up. So to build my habits, I will start, I will pick with, you know, I'll pick one and work with that. So I will, I mean, of course, I'm going to still try working on the other two, working on the, but I am not going to focus on these two until I have built a habit around this one. Okay. Now you might say, okay, but it doesn't make sense if you're doing workouts and you're not eating very healthy and you're sleeping less. Yes, I understand. But the whole idea is to not fall off your goals, right? You want to make sure that you, um, uh, you are hitting your goals, right? So then if that is the case, then building a habit takes time. You need, well, in the past, they used to say 21 days and you've built a habit. But now studies are saying you need about 90 days. Although I would say it depends on the person. For me, I think if I do something regularly for about maybe two weeks or even three weeks, it kind of becomes a habit and I don't always go off of it. But if, I mean, of course, I don't know how you operate naturally. So if you feel that you need a little bit longer, then you have to stick with it a little bit longer. And there, so therefore what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just pick this one, all right? And then I will look at the next one and which is my savings. So savings could be one is that I earn more and the other thing it could be I spend less, right? Earn more or spend less. This is the only way I can, um, I can save more, right? So now this one I will right now because 
you know, I'm taking a step back from my business a little bit because I have to focus on my job. I have a full time um, day job cor uh, in, in corporate. So I want to focus on that a little bit this year. So I'm going to not earn more because my corporate salary remains the same unless I get a promotion, which is obviously not entirely within my control. So this is within my control. So I am going to spend less. So my savings go up. So this is what I'm uh, going to be focusing on for this goal, right? Then the next one is networking and relationships. So for this one, I can either, sorry, let me just change the color. So I can either um, do more networking, right? More networking or I can um, improve the relationships, I my professional relationships that I already have. Now, am I the kind who will do more networking? I don't think so, I'm not there yet. So, <laughs> and being very honest, I am going to improve the current professional relationships I have so that in a way that would be helping my career growth plans as well. So this is what I would pick. And you see, now it becomes so much easier for me to do my daily workouts. I can um, spend less, right? Once I spend less, I even feel better mentally. I feel stronger too because I know that I'm building up my wealth and I can also improve my relation, my professional relationships because I know it's kind of an investment in my future career growth. If you are kind of stuck as to which one you should pick, which one would um, move the needle the most, this is the way you can narrow it down. Now, if you want to hear more about goal setting and things like that, just leave me a comment and I can send you a free workbook that you can fill out and see how to set your goals and every goal needs to have a timeline and all of that stuff so that workbook will actually help you do that break down your goals and then do that so it kind of covers this process a little bit but um you can you can go further with that so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like the video and please subscribe because i will be putting out more such videos um, you know, to help you crush the new year. Take care. Thanks a lot.